Love Vixen here, and um, welcome to the next episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Now, if in the last episode we saved Alila from the curse, so if you haven't gone and checked that episode out, I highly suggest you do. In today's episode, I believe we're heading up to the Scholar District, because that should hopefully be clear for us now. So if you hope this episode, please give me a big thumbs up on that like button down below, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Now, before we begin, I'll give everybody a quick team recap. So we have Salazar. Archer, Sylveon, Leo, Eti, and Bartman, that is the team I am working out with. Um, we can also get the team up to level 80 now. That's going to be quite good to be able to do. Um, so, oh, wrong door. So we are in the Rose Theatre at the moment, because we, um, because the episode before we took on, uh, Soja as well. So if we head south of Route 9. Hello, oh, Zaren. Yep, it looks like things are all up and running. That means that the Scholar District is open to the public again. It's been a while since I've been there, so I hope things are still the same. Alright, what's taking Melia so long? No idea. Really? What could have been so important? Sorry, sorry. I'm here now. It took a while, but I'm ready and officially replying for Julie. Calling for Julie. I oh, don't mind me, I just wanted to say that. Okay, so we're heading to the Blakery Ethereum, right? You're awfully cheery today. It's kind of disgusting. But yeah, that's right. It's not a hard place to find once we're inside the district. Awesome! Well, let's get another one. Uh huh. Why is Abs. Why did Absol appear? Looks like this place is about the same, which is nice. Well, anyway, the Ethereum, which is another way for library, so I'm just going to say library because it's a little easier. It's just southeast of here. Don't take too long. Right, come on, Melia. One step at a time. Okay. Did you come from Route 9? Did you come... Did you come from Route 9? Did you come from outer space? What? From hell, Damage. I will. Well, my friends, I feel everything else seems. Okay. What's the news? This is how you know verse. Ah, so this is all now. Okay. Ross. I heard that you can rack up AP at the rec, rec center. It's a good name, so mine for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go heal up again. Um, steel, feathering, wall, grass. Rock type Pokemon are weak to ice, ground, wall, grass, and, and. Very few others, I can just get. Remember, I'm gonna fail. Life is just ruined, I can't live like this. I never leave my house because I don't want to get hurt. Also, this scare me way too much. 
Okay. Okay, we that that's where we need to go, but no, then we're not going there yet. My rocks and I are gonna train at the rec center. If you ever need to repair, that's the place to go. Okay. This is this recreation center. That's the right hand. This is the right hand side. Sorry, this back room is another students. I can't let you enter. Then what do you want? I'm trying to score a point here. Problem. Okay. Then on the left hand side, change points and prizes. I don't know what TM10 is. Uh, that's my AP. I have 81 left. Okay. That's three Pokemon. If you can see in the Pokedex, you're gonna get an Aaron and Durant, me and Vibroth and Axe you. And that's where you're exchanging coins. Anyway, up here. This is it. They, they kick people out for being too loud, so yeah, don't be loud. Right, don't be loud, just gotta keep it together. Yeah, keep it together and things will work out just fine. One person we can keep our own way in. Isn't this place never gets old? I'm glad that feeling hasn't gone away. Well, we have work to do. I have a place where we'll be able to start without being interrupted. You go on ahead, we'll be right there. To yourself. Um, excuse me. Hello, how may I help you? I was just wondering if there was by chance a gym here. Yes, it's great, but if you want to tell us a gym later, you'll have to wait. Lavender is currently in the hospital at home. Lavender is the gym leader of the Blakery Ethereum. I see you both. Thank you. No problem. I'll be here if you need me. Really? The funny things don't go the way they did. Oh, Vixen, sorry, I was complimenting, complimenting things. Thinking about the past, I guess that's something that happens to someone sooner or later. Okay, let's get started. We have a lot to discuss. You read that book last night, right? Mary Region Origins? I did, and I learned some pretty interesting stuff. So interesting, Lava, I would have thought the book was at work, of fiction. If it weren't for the circumstances. What did you learn? Well, for starters, the Maria region was a place that existed long before Avrium. The region itself is located nine hours west of Avrium. The thing is, the Maria region has been completely abandoned. Huh? Completely abandoned? The citizens of the region had to flee because of a nuclear meltdown at the Maria nuclear plant. This is where it gets interesting. And um, where it gets. The Ketsu's words start to make sense. The first citizens of the Avery region were the people who fled Maria, and one and the same. 
When the Marian nuclear plant went under, the entire region fled east and ended up on uncharted shores. And that's how Avian was discovered. That's correct, but that's not all I learned. Then the, the three things that struck out to me while reading. The incident at the plant was caused by ten individuals, all died at the site. Eight of them were unidentified, but for some strange reason the ninth and tenth ones were. And who were they? The ninth person was a, na was a woman named Freya. She was part of the international police and was discovered to be the reason the plant went under. Other than those two bits of information, I couldn't find anything else on her. Hmm. As for the tenth individual? I'll get to that in a sec. Let me continue for now. Gotcha. The second thing is a little more relevant to us. Turns out that the Mary region wasn't free from mass crime either. There was another evil team running around and causing havoc. That's not what stri strikes out of me. The team that would terrorize Mario was also called Team Zen. Team Zen? Yeah, they existed more than 50 years ago. But like our Team Zen, there was no man in Max. That, that leader wasn't a madame at all, he was a male. If I remember correctly, his name was Lord Zedian. Presumably, the name Team Zen comes from his name. And coincidentally, this Lord Zedian was the tenth victim. Lord Zedian? Lord Zedian was also a casualty, that means this isn't the same Team Zen. The Team Zen that we fought up to this point has been the second generation. Yeah, and that's not even the best part. This is the further and final thing about that that struck out to me. The very same nuclear plant was owned by none other than the Blakeries. The Blakeries owned. That means, it seems like they were involved in all of this, even back then, somehow. Everything is connected. Blakeries and Team Zen. Well, exactly is their true re relation. That's what we're here to figure out. But it does give what Katsu said some context. She said she wanted to restore the Mary region so we can go back. That confirms what this book says is true, at least in that aspect. I can't say the rest is too accurate. There's just not enough data. See, in that case, we should start looking around. It seems to know a lot more about this place than Vix and I. So just lead the way and we'll do our best. She said, Melia, I'm going to need you. Talk to the receptionist and find out when Rune took this book out. If to me, I do my very best. As for you, Vixen, I'm gonna need you to find out where Rune got some of these books. They were real exclusive looking books. They perhaps look for a pedestal or something. If I remember correctly, there were three here the last time I visited. But the library changes its layout often to showcase new exhibits, so it might not be there anymore. I have to remember I'm just sorting out some books. I wonder how many books they have around cooking. I would like to master the technique of cooking. What a fruit. There was a long feud between Cassandra and Rovia about the usability of this library. Cassandra wanted the space to be used upon a monthly membership subscription. We thought everyone should have the opportunity to learn. Cassandra was furious when she actually lost, and the space became free, so she withdrew her affiliation with the library church business. But eventually, the space was able to make up the difference. I wonder what they have behind those scary looking gates. I heard that they keep top secret info locked up there. You could possibly find it appropriate to bother me. <sighs> of course it's you. But I must say I'm impressed. I didn't really take you for the intellectual type. Seeing you in here has made my opinion of you change. Not that there was much of an opinion anyway. Oh hey Vixen, hey fancy meeting you here, what's up? Say, have you seen Erin around? She told me to come by. <sighs> Seriously? What is the poor orphan boy doing here? Run along, orphan boy. There's nothing for you at an institution like this. Oh, sorry, I skipped that. By the way, where's that progress that can't accompany you? 
the one that defiled my face. You remember that, don't you? I won't forget that moment ever. The looks of it, your face won't either. Are you implying that there is a mark? Because that's impossible. I hired a late makeup artist to cover a foul bruise she left. The evidence of that incident happening is no longer visible. What have you say, dude? By the way, I heard Lavender was in the hospital. So sort of right. You know what they say about karma, yes? Hey, don't talk about Lavender that way. Take it back now. I'll take nothing back. Truth hurts sometimes, Huey. And if you can't handle the truth, then you don't deserve to be in the same room as me. Say that to my fist, Thomas Blakery. Ugh. You people just can't hit me every time I tell you the truth. I don't know your face is pretty punchable. You just make it too easy. Then this is funny. Fine, if that's how it is. Security! S security Damn it. So, am I getting arrested or something? No, but you're not allowed back for the rest of the day. Cool off, calm down, and come back tomorrow. Find out real life books anyway. That sucks, at least only I got in trouble though. I feel really bad if you got in trouble too. So what the hell is going on? Hey Aaron, don't be mad if it's in. this is my fault. I'm not angry, I'm annoyed, it's different. Anyway, I don't really have much for you to do other than what I told you before. So just leave that, Molly and I. You and Huey do whatever you want. Don't don't slack off too much. The tournament is gonna to be getting pretty soon. We'll all group in front of this library. Once we're done with that thing. I'm sure. Well we might as well hang out while we're both here. I'm gonna ask if you wanted to. There's a lot of dress, but they aren't even you know. Come on, there's a park just south of here. See? I still need to find these zygote cells, unless I check them out. Let me see if I can find them. As well, but no, let's have a map check them out. Oh, they're a Pokemon! Oh, cool, okay. Karen called me into the library because she said she found things Rowan owned. I ran for and got into trouble as soon as I got there. I can't stand that Thomas Blaker, he gets me so mad. Rumi used to bring me to this park all the time when I was younger. She'd been she's been gone for so long now. And she there's been no breakthroughs. I'm trying to stay happy and optimistic, but damn it's hard. Rowan, I hope you're doing okay. Man, you slugged that guy. Vixen, it's me, Rena. Friend's sister. You haven't seen a jump for quite a while, yeah? I think it was since Valle Mountain. Thanks for saving me back then, by the way. If you didn't help me, I would have gotten out. Anyway, but that, it's the thought that counts. Um, hey there, I don't think we've met. Oh yes, nice to meet you. My name is Rena. You don't mind if I join you, I've got nothing else to do, really. Um, yeah, sure. We've got nothing to do either, so join the club. Hey, hang out time commence! You're just, you're just, judicial district courtroom? Fourth floor trial. Quiet down, everyone! Everyone, please quiet down. Flora Griville, your trial is about over. Is there anything else you'd like to do? There's nothing else I want to say to you. You, you stupid judge. My, my word. I mean, I never dreamed thought for the sweetheart of Grand Dream City. It's such a mouth. Yeah, well, too many sweets can kill you. Did you know that, judge? Of course I knew that. I was just... I don't care. We all know what the answer's gonna be. So please, give out your sentence already and save us the time. Laura. Please behave. Very well, Miss Laura. On multiple accounts of treason and terrorism, I hereby find the defendant to be guilty. Before she for you, Mr. Griffo, the punishment for all these counts is death. Your execution will be held on a later date if... Please, Your Honor, I have something to say. Florin, I was just about to give my sentence, but go on. I realize that Flora's done is incredibly bad, but I would ask that you do not give her the death penalty. On what grounds? I'm asking this as a personal favor. For all the work I've done for the city, I beg you to let her live. Hmm, I see. Well, I suppose I could pull a string or two in that case. I don't want your sympathy. Laura! 
Hodge, you want to help me now, brother? After what you've put me through already, now is the time you want to help? I'm sorry, but if you're going to tell the truth, then I am obligated to as well. What are you talking about? Marina, I request the death penalty. F Flora! You request the death penalty? That's correct. I believe the only way to repeat, repent for my sins is with death. But that's not the only thing. If things are left at its current stage, they still will not perish. In fact, it will flourish with it, with its new leader. With its new leader? That, that is, if I don't expose the co-leader right here and now, in this courtroom. Flora, what are you doing? After hearing the testimony of everyone here, it seems I've turned over a new leaf. How could I possibly sit here and let things really continue to suffer? It's time to tell the truth and to be honest with ourselves. After all, I am under oath, aren't I? You must tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Lauren. Your Honor, it breaks my heart to say that the co-leader of Blade Star is... Is actually my brother, Thorne. Oh, that isn't true and you know it. Everyone quiet down this instant. Quiet? Thorne, the jig is up. Just come clean already. Thorne, this is a huge accusation. Do you have proof of this? On a, during Cassandra's reign of Blade and Star's lab in Darklight Caves, we discovered a horrible truth. If our brother evidence suggests that Thorne is indeed the co-leader, Oh, Blade Star. What? What? That's right, I have Blade Star spies everywhere. So that, I got note of what happened during your meeting with Cassandra Foran. Vixen tried to tell Cassandra everything. Aaron tried to stop them. I knew Cassandra would pick up on them, trying to hide something. As a result, I ordered Blade Star grunts to an evidence of Foran being in Blade Star. It looks like, in the end, she didn't leave Aaron's cover up for a second. Cassandra did exactly what I predicted and raided the place our labs. And now look where we are now. Don't worry, brother. I won't be here till you die. There's too much for me to do. Do we put down so soon? Maybe in your last moments you will rue the day you put your job above your own sister. You won't hate me, will you? Minty. I just did the same thing you did to me. It's nothing personal, my dear brother. We'll always cherish the memories we had. I mean, after our parents died, we had no one else but ourselves. But every man has a parting. This is where our parting begins. Know that when you pass, I shall not mourn. I we'll continue to be a grand dream silly sweetheart. Will you rocked in hell? Do it now, you stupid grunts. Now! Sorry, brother. There's only space for me. I cannot save you. Perhaps I should come back before your execution. I'll better up your security. Or why? Oh yeah. So damn good at this game. I know, fair. It's clear you've played volleyball before. It's a sound. It's the sound of a sore loser. Rain got ten. Huey and Vixen got. Zero. Zero, zero. I'm a Duncan hero. Duncan. Oh yeah, I almost swore, didn't I? Not just losing from the spiciness. But your team had two players, and I and was only only me on my side. Now whatever, I'm done with this game. Really? Alright, I guess that's fine. That's fun, though. We should play again sometime, really. Yeah, fun. Fun for you, maybe. Okay, okay. If you guys aren't having fun, then I guess this game is over. Let's head on out. Okay. What are you guys up to now? Um, nothing really. My friend Lavender is in the hospital recovering. My apartment is kind of filled with hooligans, so... I've been stuck doing nothing for a little while. Nothing, huh? Would you guys be interested in helping me with something? Huh? What do you need? Vixen already knows about this, but my brother ran away from my home a long time ago. I'm sure Bren is fine, and I'm not one to get anxious over things. But I need to make sure something is going right. Do you know where you might be? Not a clue. That's where you two come in. Keep asking people. What the? Yeah, we got them. Take that, Vixen. Hey man, this is totally not cool. 
Hey, are you sure this is Vixen? I'm not sure of this. I have this very acute drawing of him in a crayon. I'm okay, I believe you. Let's take them to the chasm and check them in and they will plan. Boss is gonna be so proud of us, so proud. Okay, but you guys take criticism when they're crying. Alright, so just a suggestion, but can you guys not? Criticism designed our work is perfect. So let me go, why am I always being caged up anyway? I feel like this happens far too often. Hey, take my criticism, stop! Probably just bad, it looks like they're heading for Route 9. Hey, again. This is only a suggestion, but can you please let me go? Taking criticism can be good for you, you know? Like I said, I'm gonna take a surprise in my own car. You guys are idiots anyway. You totally stole the wrong car, son. Any of that? Dude, this is not cool. I'm gonna cry now. Just in time, now you actually hear what I have to say. So this is kind of where the story splits for a bit, guys, because obviously we ride on Laura. We ride on her. This has happened. Don't yeah, see else happens, but you go to both areas, so it's pretty well. Let Rena go this instant. Rena, this is Vixen. I know how else to explain to you that you're not very smart. But you don't want to hear you speak anymore. Your voice sounds so shaky. You're not actually crying, are you? I'm an emotional man, okay? Sensitive from quality of love and affection. <laughs> you're well over man. I've had enough of you all. It's time to let go. So, this matchup is kind of going better already than normal before. Was kind of switched out and got them breath locked. I like the that. And we lost that, let's watch that. We lost. And so Done yet. You guys are finished now. Let me run out and go. We are gonna just isolate ourselves and wrap safely away. That it looks like you two have to be utter toes and falls. Don't be mad if you end up in a bad spot. Hit the teleportation button. Quick. You have a name, you know. Yep. No, it's going to not hear that. Ah, come on, see the teleportation device now. Oh, wait, don't do something stupid. Ah. Yep. Where you got teleported? To a new place. Welcome to the Void Chasm. So I do a up. Hey, it went pretty well for us, didn't it? Can't say the same for all the books in here. You were gonna throw them into the void, too, right? Then just do it already, please. I think being lost at the bottom of the chasm is more interesting than being with the two of you. Gosh, we're just trying to have a nice conversation. You don't gotta be so mean about things. Uh, if it's what you want, I left you, please. Drop her. Now, oh, watch it, see us. And they, hey, watch it. What's going on up there? Uh, again, where were we hit? Hmm, looks like we were hit. Well, why don't I hear the rockets anymore? Oh. How could you repeat that? I can hear it. 
Seriously, Rena, I can't hear what you're saying. I said, how come a poem didn't hurt at all? Now that you mentioned that the poem didn't hurt us either. It's kind of plopped and got back up and as if nothing happened. It's really strange, but I guess we shouldn't complain. By the way, Rena, how did you get down here? Did they just drop you here or something? No, but they were going to, I think. We got shot down or something. Yeah, we were hovering in the air until we got hit by something. Then this place our grunts fell down here with me or something. Let's do what? That crash was earlier. Makes sense to me. By the way, where are we? Those base our grunts called this place the void, but I've never heard of such a place. No idea I was hoping one of you would have known. I've never really been outside the city, so I'm a little dark in here. So where we are, I think we're all in the dark. No worries. I'm sure my cyber nav will be up to the sort of thing. Hey, what's going on? My cyber nav isn't working properly. Mine isn't working either. Maybe it's experiencing experience or something, I don't know. But my perfect deck seems to be working fine. And cyber nav operates only on the internet connection, so it's possible. There's no signal down here. I guess that makes sense. I don't want to be down here anymore. Let's find a way out fast. Well, let's do that. Right, guys, I'm going to end today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode. Have a good Bye!